All my friends around the world, uh, it is 4th of July in the U.S., so I thought I'd make a thing about freedom, and it's the Buddha of absolute freedom. So we talk about 4th of July, talk about freedom, fighting for freedom and all that, but uh, anyway. The Buddha of absolute freedom is one of the many titles of a Buddha from time without beginning, otherwise known as you and me. And in, uh, in Japanese... Freedom is GU, so you might remember back in the 90s, uh, Daisaku Ikeda wrote the son of GU over the new land. I remember at that time looking up what GU was, and it's, oh, it means freedom. It's the Buddha of absolute freedom. Um, people say, Bodhisattva, what do they say? I'm a Bodhisattva of the earth. That's the English translation. It's kind of a weird translation because in, in, in Japanese, it's GU no Bosatsu, which is Bodhisattva of freedom, or freedom Bodhisattva, uh, Bodhisattva, but uh, actually a Bodhisattva in the in the Lotus Sutra it says because of the uh, oneness of mentor and disciple, which is in Japanese is sh uh, Shtefuni, Shtefuni I think it is. Um, all Bodhisattvas are Buddhas because there's no separation. That's why in the in the Lotus Sutra the Buddha said, I made a vow in the beginning I made a vow to make all people equal to me with no distinctions and that's in the threefold lotus sutra I believe it's in the first of the threefold lotus sutra the sutra of immeasurable meaning or infinite meaning so uh, when I was thinking about that this weekend um, I've been studying a lot of access consciousness which uh, I was supposed to put in quotes access consciousness or the healing modality formerly known as access energy transformation and it really has helped me out a lot to understand my Buddhist philosophy and my Buddhist upbringing because I've been Buddhist all my life. And uh, this idea that the founder of Axis talks about of infinite being, that's exactly what the Buddha of, in of absolute freedom is. And also, he says everything is just choice if you get out of causal reality, which is the idea that there is karma. So karma and causal reality... The good thing in Buddhism is there's both good and bad karma. In Hinduism, they only focus on bad karma, which is why Buddhism came out of Hinduism as a reform of Hinduism. So in Buddhism, there's a really good idea of, of good karma, and I like good karma because I've created so much good karma in this lifetime. And in all my previous lifetimes, I knew I did many really good things because I have good karma. And I love that that I'm going to keep getting better and better things happen to me because I do create good karma. With all your thoughts, words, and deeds, you create karma. But is there a way to transcend karmic reality or causal reality? And I do believe it's a choice because that's what the Buddha of Absolute Freedom is all about. So in the Go Show that I read, if you go back and read, uh, listen to my writing, my reading of, which one was it? Uh, it was in this big fat book. can't remember the name of the Go Show. I, I said is one of the most I'm still f trying to find the other one. Oh yeah, it's the Universal Declaration of by the Buddhas or it's a longer name. Anyway, in that he says there's no need for a good friend because everything you do is going to create good karma once you become who you truly be, which is a Buddha from time without beginning or a Buddha of absolute freedom. Um so in in access they call it an infinite being, but it's the same thing. So also, which reminds me of access consciousness, um, constantly in the explaining what the Buddha of absolute freedom is, it's the Buddha who sees no distinctions. So the English translation of the sutras is kind of the words they use, like with no distinctions. I, I wonder if there's a better word, but I do like the uh, <clears throat> how this relates to what Access teaches, which is um, consciousness includes everything and judges nothing. So that's what I believe the Buddha of Absolute Freedom, who sees no distinctions, which um, the I think it's the 32 negations says, I'm neither here, there, neither coming, neither going. Those are all the distinctions that is causal reality, which the Buddha says, I have absolute freedom, means I free myself from all the causal reality, which is basically what the what access conscious is doing so they're just doing it a little bit differently than buddhism does but uh it's great to use different men modalities of healing so i use it as a as a way to become more conscious and understand my buddhist practice and to become more enlightened which uh, we all 
uh, we all do as we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we become more enlightened. So that's my little take on the Buddha of Absolute Freedom, which is a Jiyu no Bosatsu, which is a Bodhisattva of the earth. <clears throat> because you can't be a Bodhisattva without being a Buddha, because the oneness of mentor and disciple is that we're all equal. Okay, that's my little take on the uh, difference between uh, the final teachings of Buddhism in the Lotus Sutra and the healing modality formerly known as Access Consciousness, which I believe is teaching Buddhism, but in a new, new light, which it definitely needs. Okay, peace out.